Well, as the primary elections approach, some Prince George's and Montgomery communities are calling for affordable housing to be a front and center issue. In Maryland, the average two-bedroom apartment runs nearly 300 a month, or 1,300 a month. In the D.C. area, the rent is even higher. She's lived in Prince George's County for five years, and she has seen the rent increase year after year. Policymakers and organizations held a press conference this morning to try and change that. In Montgomery County and Prince George's County, almost 50% of families are house burdened. This means they usually find themselves with not enough money to pay rent, to pay food, to pay transportation, to pay for child care. I mean, obviously, this one's dealing with the purple line and the development coming through gentrification. I think we all want good development. We need the commercial tax base to come through. Uh, and part of it is the displacement of our hardworking citizens, the residents of Prince George's County, and in this case, Prince George's and Montgomery County. I think it's a special, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting issue because it's, you know, we, we hear it across the state. As a state legislator, I know I'm, I'm a very, I'm a big proponent of having rent stabilization for this particular purposes, and especially in areas that are receiving tax dollars. And Maryland has the highest number of foreclosures in the nation so far this year, with Prince George's leading the state.